we get to a featherweight matchup between Max Holloway and Arnold Allen. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. Him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, his 13-fight winning streak is no more, but Max Holloway still makes this walk here tonight as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world when it comes to pace, pressure, preparation, cardio. Few guys are gonna be able to match what this Hawaiian brings to the table. And he can do it all. He's got great ability to get back up once he's taken down. He has takedown ability, but it's the range and the distance management that makes Max Holloway such a problem for everyone at 145 pounds. He doesn't seem as though he's throwing 100% effort with every strike. He's just touching you. Right. But the accumulation of damage that Max Holloway will put on you will make guys just fold in front of him, as we saw with Ortega and in both Jose Aldo fights. He's a big featherweight. We have seen him compete at 155 pounds. He has said he wants to move up to welterweight <laughs> before his UFC and career is he said and done. He wants to beat me. Yeah, he wants a shot at the heavyweight champ. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Yves LeVing. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. If you're just first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Arnold Almighty Allen! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, will be my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Holloway gets hit with a kick. Let me see that hook now. <laughs> nice right hand. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball for Bush Land. Now he gets back to range. And he comes through with a big knee. Knee to the body. Oh! Beautiful knee. Big oh. knee lands there. Now a knee. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, so oh. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these round and pound strikes here to clear the opponent. You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. You can see him now starting out of that pocket. And something. the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. You control this. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Let's get going now. We march on three minutes to go. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another Whoa! strike lands there. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. And he is back up to his feet. Oh, big diving punch is good. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Well, he has really come out aggressively to start this fight. He's staying technical, but we have certainly seen an uptick. And then just like that, the fight is over. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Arnold Almighty Allen. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.